seconds from the state capitol. Luxurious comfort is within reach. At the Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Fruit picker James Richardson went to death row in 1968 for allegedly poisoning his seven children. In the late 1980s, high-profile attorney Ellis Rubin started questioning the conviction. This case will illustrate what racism was in Florida in 1967. A thorough investigation by the governor and a special prosecutor followed. Justice ought to prevail. A neighbor confessed. The lawyer got the state Supreme Court to hear an appeal. We have alleged 17 instances of perjury with the knowledge of the state. <clears throat> Freed pending a new trial, the state declined to retry Richardson. I marvelous, and I, I can be able to go where I want to go. Now James Richardson faces another obstacle. Current law won't let him apply to be compensated for his lost years because there's no DNA, or for that matter, even a case file. Because our wrongful incarceration statute requires DNA. State Senator Geraldine Thompson has legislation that threads a tricky legal needle. The bill would allow Richardson to apply for compensation. And the special prosecutor issues a no pros memorandum, which she did, and if the conviction was prior to 1980 that he should qualify to apply to be compensated. If approved, Richardson could apply for a payment of $50,000 for each of the 21 years he spent as an innocent man behind bars. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.